Are we ready? Jump Rose Season 2, Episode 11. This is a sign I had to leave up after our last episode. I'm sure millions of viewers saw Brian Peters pull our fucking rim down. He's still got a Venmo, Venmo me $275. It says, no dunking hoop will fall on you. Now, in my lackluster business approach this week, we did not replace the hoop yet. So it's a little bit jankier than it even was, but we're not letting that stop us, are we Tyler Treadway? This is Jump Rose, and we are the most famous eight foot rim dunkers on the internet, Mike. And we're power lifters. Let's roll the tape. Yeah! Nice, Trevor. Hey. Fuck yeah, I see you, baby. Mike, you want to lead the way? Oh, oh, I'm in this? I am fucking. Let's go. Let's see it, Mike. All right, so how works is you play cow. Yeah. Dunk cow. So you'll go first. You'll we'll do follow dunk. you. Yeah. We'll follow you. Yep. Up, tread. Oh! <laughs> nice, Treadway. That was fucking. That was good. That was good. Do you mess it up? Do I have to go? Oh, hey, you got the you got the clicks though. You got the clicks. There you go, Trevor. Yeah. 
away with the soccer shit. The, the soccer We're about shit. to fall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it. Kind of glad you fucked that up. <laughs> yeah. Trying to fucking get me like that. What is that hit? Jump shot?
You wanted that. Up by one. <laughs> Damn it! That's <laughs> stupid. Four, four. You look made it, you're the one. One by two? Yeah, of course. All right. But if you made it, you're the one, Trevor, eh? I was through the rim. I don't know. How I didn't mean to do that, but I was through the rim. Five, four. Stay there. I haven't really got a chance to. I'm trying to let you shoot that. Yeah, well, I'll make that. I'd rather be more epic and take her to the fucking hole. Shoot it. 
Oh, you know that one. Oh. Oh. Sixes. You keep giving me this left. That's just perfect. Well, why you keep trying to change your right? <laughs> Send it right there, just hit that. Send it right there. That's what's wrong with you. That was exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> what? Besides what I was saying. Seven. Good shot. Thank you. Yeah. That's why we started at five, because. The game sucks, we're done at five. If not, we play at ten most of the time. I reach you talking. Fucking toga floater. That was a really good game, Troy. I hit some pretty good shots today, I'm not gonna lie. Mike, do you know my skills is like that? I did not. Change. I didn't think I didn't so. Tell you, I didn't know you played defense like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna shut down the defender. Jeez, Diaz. 
Well, geez, defense. Hey, do you know how tall these ceilings are? I know it's kind of like a weird question. Uh, they're like 12, box. probably like 12. Ah. <clears throat> I was hitting them with some fucking shit today, boy. <laughs> you doing all the Jump Bros, season two, episode 11. We had Big Mike jump in with us, which was a pleasant surprise. Very nice. Tyler yes. Treadway, Trey Speed. It's nice to have Trey from behind the camera to, to really weigh in on the evolution of season two. So, Trey, what have you seen in the last 10 to 11 weeks of our, I know it's superior talent on the basketball floor, but, like, you know, what's your take from behind the camera? Um, well, I've, get this, I've gotten to see it, like, evolve this whole time, I think. Since the why? Yeah, <laughs> since, like, since, like, season one. So, even just from, like, season one, it's kind of wild. Yeah. But and then now, seeing you guys play here, like, honestly, like, so you guys are, like, doing the one. I really look forward to the one-on-ones. Yes. You've always said that. <laughs> because it seems like your guys' skills have gotten better. After yeah. the first, like, five shots today, though, I wasn't – I had to rethink that. <laughs> <laughs> Speed that part up when you had to make Trey. But, it, but and then once you guys got going, though, yeah. I've noticed that, like, obviously, like, your guys' skills have just increased so much, like, over, like – Yeah. The, the, like, just – I don't know. We've been in this for, like, a few weeks or so, but, like, it's gotten yeah. insane. Like, and almost three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just so entertaining to watch. <laughs> like, I, like, I really, really enjoy putting the videos together because I'm just, like, laughing my ass off and like Cole sent, laughs like, at all the bricks yeah like, like I like sent like there'll be like a clip or something I, like snapchat it to Treadway <laughs> <laughs> the um I was telling Treadway like I haven't played organized basketball is I think I quit playing in leagues when I was like 32 so it's been like 10 or 12 years since I've played consistently and so I was telling him like some of my things that I'm able to make are coming back I'm like wait wait I remember I, I, I got this one like but I just haven't played enough yeah. But yesterday I was shooting around. I was hitting some hook shots. I was doing some other stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm bringing a little of this out. I was hitting some shit off one leg. I was like, you know. Oh, the floater today. Yeah, the floater for the win. I used to hit that in high school. And I did. This is, this is breaking news. I signed up to be the rec assistant coach for AG's team this year. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go. go, let's go. <laughs> so I called uh, Drew's dad, Cot's dad. Shout out, Jared. I was like, hey, where would I put my application in? to be assistant coach he started laughing he's like you trying to i was like yeah i'm in because ag's never played organized basketball but he's playing in rec this year That's cool. so and then they have like four or five teams and so yeah so i'm gonna be assistant coach so so <laughs> jump bros ha is gonna let me live my dreams bobby Knight. <laughs> g's gonna throw a chair <laughs> yeah geez, <laughs> for sure uh Treway, what's your you won cow today which is good i did win cow. you fucking practicing these dunks uh, for sure. i've been practicing but I'll, i have to give a shout out to g because uh, the lunges. I've upped the lunges, and I feel freaky athletic right now. You feel right good? Now. Like, I can go a whole game to 10 now before I was getting kind of winded, which sure. is, you know, playing more helps that. But, like, I feel like my dunks are hitting the next level. I feel like – You're springy right now. You can see it. I feel like when we were um, on season one and jumping on 10, the landing, you know, our knees were kind of whatever, but we kind of dialed in, like, the knee training stuff. For sure. Now it hasn't been as much emphasis on that, but it's been more like just lunges, really. But we're jumping every week, so we're building up a bigger tolerance. I feel the same way. So I think like when people see it and they're like, "Oh yeah, like whatever, it's only eight feet." Which first of all, it's fun as fuck, so yeah. I don't care. Like <laughs> no, it's just either. fun. But for two, like I think if we try to go jump on ten, like we probably wouldn't be there right now, just yeah, because we're not used we're to jumping. We're both heavier because we're lifting heavier right now too. But if we were to. Uh, like take it serious, like outside on ten and practice on ten for like yeah. a month. I think we would be able to dunk a lot better on ten now yeah. than we were previously. I agree with that. No, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing is, is like I always say on in the intro, we're the most famous eight foot rim dunkers on the internet, which is true. Mm -hmm. But secondly, we're also power lifters. Yeah. So it's like we're lifting super heavy all week, and this is like a dynamic day for me. And I think it is contributing to my squat progression because, you know, my squats continue to get stronger. Your knees are feeling better. So, like Brian mentioned in the last episode, it's play, like kids play, basically. But we are still uh, pushing ourselves athletically. And this is helping, I think, contribute to that, in my opinion. Well, and I think, like, what separates you slash the crew from, like, normal powerlifters is we don't look like normal powerlifters. We yeah. don't look like – big bloated steroid whatever um it's like the leaner look abs all that stuff which i think that like at the at the root of everything we're all athletes correct and so it's like 
I love lifting so much. I mean, it's it's such a key part of my life. But like, nothing will ever take place of like just playing sports when you're a yeah. kid. Like, and honestly, that's what this feels like. It just feels like you're hanging with the homies in the backyard, just just hooping. Like, people lose it. They lose that. You lose that, and it's like it's a competition, and it's b it's just playing sports, and that's what can keep you athletic. And and you know, we kind of talk about that a lot on some of the max stuff with like mm-hmm. long term athlete development. It's like. People lose athleticism because they focus on training, which is fine. But, I mean, you have to have both of them to to keep your athleticism. If I think about having a competitive sport that I'm playing week to week that I care about, because I don't want to fucking lose, you don't want to fucking lose, right, at 44 years old, that's hilarious. Now, obviously, you got the outlier outliers, but just even having a strategy, and it's because it's not at 10 feet, it's at 8 feet, it's still jumping, it's still having fun, like... Once again, it's a way to continue to push myself, like, to stay as young as possible and enjoy my life. Mm-hmm. This is, like, this is like a quality of life thing that I've always loved doing. That's the thing is, like, if you talk to any of the homies I play basketball with, they will never be surprised if this does well. Because they know how, how, like, this is what I did as a kid for hours. Which yep. is why Alex can't beat me on cow at this. I played so much on these heights when I was a kid. I'm like a lead at it, and I know that. I just have to be around it. So it's like, Alex, is like I cannot, like, how did you get so such so good at shooting? I'm like, dude, I don't think you realize. I thought this was my way out of the fucking trailer. Like, <laughs> yeah, I literally thought so. I was practicing all this high level stuff, and then I was like, when I get bigger, which didn't happen to the level I wanted to. When I'm six three, I'm gonna be doing all this shit on ten feet. It just never happened. I could get to it, but I couldn't do all the stuff that I, all the skills that I had created on the lower rims. So to me, it's just, it literally is like some kid shit. Well, and like, you know, you and I have very similar, like, not, I don't want to say similar up, upbringing, but like similar. Uh, country like, as hell. Country as hell. <laughs> yeah. And it was like. It's pretty I, similar. I, I live so far away from all my friends. Yeah. So it was like. I know my jumper doesn't reflect it, but from age, probably, you must not have been watching the Larry Bird shit. From like, no, I was watching Kobe. <laughs> trying exactly. To that shit. From like age six until probably when I graduated high school, and like at age like eighteen for twelve years, seven days a week for three to four hours a day, I was shooting jumpers. Yeah. In my driveway, and I wasn't very good, but it was just what you did. And then this is kind of like that iteration of like that's where you just find happiness, and then it's mm. come in. And it's like last night we we had a playoff soccer game. We got smoked. I got home at one a.m. and I was like, I can't wait to go play basketball tomorrow with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you look forward to it because yeah. it's it's it, it is special. I mean, it sounds cliche. It's not and, cliche. And, and having Trey here is super dope too. Because Trey's a hooper too. Like Trey <laughs> is like the dude that like you know he talks hoops. You know he he enjoys it. He loves watching it and he loves. We we got to get him on a show. He and he enjoys putting it together. Yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome. Because when you're editing things that you are going to make you laugh, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that you care about the guys on camera. And, like, you know, when I came to him about trying to shoot something like this, he wasn't like, that sounds fucking, like, yeah. Especially after he saw my first performance at the Y, (laughs) which will live in infamy. That that video's going to come out one day. I hope you know that. (laughs) Oh, please. Please. (laughs) Do you have it? Yeah. So bad. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I, I didn't want to play so bad, Trey Way. I, the, the Snapchat caption is, Corgi Finnis takes over the wall. Why? Yeah. This <laughs> brick. I look. I'm like 220. I steal the ball. I miss a layup. I, lo- I mean, it was so yeah, just bad. Just so, like real quick. So, like, think about, though, like, all the, like, shit, though, that, like, so back to, like, the durability aspect of, like, yeah. you guys doing this. Like, think about all the shit that you guys used to have to do, though, like, oh, yeah. for your knee. Like, show, I like, think. Yeah. yeah, like, would you guys even been able to play one on one if you wanted? I don't, I don't know. I don't you know, think like, so. So, like, shit like that's like pretty awesome too to see the progress. No, it's been great progress, and once again, I think it's helping us in the gym a ton. Yeah, definitely. And I just know each week my knees hurt a little less. Mm-hmm. I'm taking time with you know working on stuff, but it's uh, yeah, I think more. It's like Friday is arms. Friday's a half day of work. Friday we had jump rows. Mo- most of the time we record the other show too. It's like you know really look forward to it. So. Trey, anything else you want to add to the Jump Bros community? No, this is awesome. I, I can't wait, though, for, like, one a one-on-one game where there's just, like, posters. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because when we get lighter, that shit will start to happen. Because, like, it's bound to happen. One, I don't know. One of you guys postering the other one is, like, but, like, a poster poster is yeah. just bound to happen. And will Cole make a poster? <laughs> so, yeah. like, it's just, a, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. So, like, every week, that's really what I look forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Trey, Trey wait, tried to tried to bait me into that today. I did. But I marked Jackson to his ass. He did. <laughs> he did. 
I threw it. I tried to throw it off the backboard and beat you to it, and I was going to just yam on you. Oh. And Sounded you, good in your head, huh? Yeah, and you just boxed me out. Like, was <laughs> just me out. I was like, oh, okay, good try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for the ball. <laughs> All right, Jump Bros, I'm your boy Corey G, Tyler Treadway, Trey Speed. We are the most famous eight-foot rim dunkers on the internet that are powerlifters. <laughs> Go to YouTube and check out the show. <laughs> Later.